Hi friends, welcome to Bible Stories with Miss Rebecca. I'm so excited that you're here today because you're going to learn about one of my friends and your friends and Jesus's friends, Zacchaeus. So today we're going to learn a story about Zacchaeus. Are you ready? Oh good. I'm not quite sure you're just ready yet. So first, what I need you to do is find yourself a comfy chair or a nice spot on the floor. Then we'll start getting ready. Go ahead. Did you find it? Oh, good. Now what I need you to do second is to put your listening ears on. Can you put those listening ears on? Good job, everyone. Now we're ready for our story. Our story today comes from Luke, the book of Luke, which is in the New Testament. And this is a story about Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. That means that he collected money from people, taxes. People do not like him very much. They took more, he took more money than was fair and taking that money made him rich. See, that's not nice because people needed that money. Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming. He wanted to see Jesus. But Zacchaeus was very short and he could never see all over all the people in the crowd. So Zacchaeus ran ahead of the crowd and he climbed up in a tree. Now he was taller than everyone. When Zacchaeus walked, or when Jesus walked right under that tree, he stopped. He looked up and right at Zacchaeus, he said, Zacchaeus, please come down. I must stay at your house today. See Zacchaeus up there in the tree? Jesus said, come down, Zacchaeus. What are you doing, silly? Zacchaeus hurried down the tree. Wow, Jesus was coming to his house. The people in the crowd grumbled. Zacchaeus is such a bad man. Why is Jesus going with him? Can't believe he's going with that man, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus looked at Jesus. He wanted to show that he had changed. He said, look, Lord, here and now, I give you half of what I owe the owed to the poor people. And if I have cheated anyone, I will pay back four times what I took. And Jesus said, today God's salvation has come to Zacchaeus' house. So Jesus helped Zacchaeus learn when he was doing wrong. And Jesus wants you to know that when, when you might do something wrong, that he's there for you too. So we can say we're sorry when we do things that are wrong. And we can make sure that we apologize. But we don't just say we're sorry and not mean it. We need to say we're sorry and understand what we're sorry for and make sure we don't do it again. So that happens if you push a friend or you push your brother or sister and you know that wasn't very nice and you say sorry, but then tomorrow you do it again. That's not the way that Jesus wants us to do that. He wants us to say sorry and mean it and then change our behavior to make sure we don't push our brother or sister anymore or our friends. But Jesus will forgive us and he's going to help us do what's right. So today we have a song to go with our story about Zacchaeus. Now I know that's a really, really hard name. So let's try and say it together. Zacchaeus. Me hear you. Zacchaeus. Good job. You ready for our song? Oh, good. We've got a couple motions to go with our song. First, we're just going to start out a little walking, okay? You walk with me? You ready for our motions this time? Climb in that tree. Good job! That's our song about Zach. 
Zacchaeus. So Zacchaeus climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And when Jesus passed his way that day, he looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree and said, Zacchaeus, you come down for I'm going to your house today. Isn't that a fun story about Zacchaeus? So we learn that Jesus wants us to say we're sorry and to correct our behavior when we do something wrong. And Jesus is going to forgive us and he's going to help us do what's right. So what was the name of the person in our story today? Starts with a Z. Zacchaeus, good job. That's a hard name. That's a really hard name. So before we end our story today, can you close your hands and bow your head, close your eyes as we pray to God. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for teaching us how to behave and thank you for accepting our apologies and forgiving us and helping us do what's right, just like you did with Zacchaeus. And we love you in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me in the story with today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a good rest of your day. This has been Bible Stories with Miss Rebecca. Goodbye.